Hello Facebook, hello everyone watching on Catch Up on YouTube, nice to be back with you. Just saying to our friends here on Instagram that today we're going to be doing a deep dive into the microbiome, one of my favourite places to be, talking about probiotics and in particular probiotics from the soil, really interesting, with a great female founder, Sue Allen, who is the founder of Microbes, that's microbes spelt with a Z. I'll make sure that Lainey, who is on Facebook today, is going to pop a link on there for you because we do have a great Liz Loves discount, of course, on everything on microbes. So let me see. Yeah, 10% off everything there. Uh, thank you very much, Jay Clark, for your nice comment. Right. I am first of all, I'm just going to add Lainey here on to my Instagram. There we go. And then, yeah, I love Dublin. Top of the morning to you. That's a terrible accent. Loved it. Everyone was so friendly, so welcoming. If you want to see, I've popped a few things on my stories on my uh, Instagram, my personal one, which is Liz L. Me. Uh, so here we go. Microbes. I'm so looking forward to this. And just to say, we've also done a film. I went to the farm at Microbes just before Christmas and shot a film which is up on YouTube, on the Liz R. Wellbeing YouTube channel now. So do take a look, not now, because you'll miss the live, but take a look after because it's really brilliant. Hello, Sue. Hi. It's so Hi. nice to see you. Thank you for connecting with us. Oh, no problem. Good to see you again, Liz. Well, I know exactly where you're sitting because I sat and had lunch with you in that very building and it was fascinating to come. I mean, we've connected as a community with microbes now for a while, ever since the beginning of lockdown, and we were really focusing on gut health. And I saw how you make these amazing, amazing, truly revolutionary products, how effective they are, and the real kind of science mixed with folklore and you know dare i say almost a bit of magic behind it all yeah. <laughs> well that's true isn't it gardeners would talk about muck and magic and that's basically microbes i mean microbes have been around for billions of years and they've created the soil underneath our feet you know and then from that of course all life sprang yeah. so you know it's hard to imagine how um how crucial they are really yeah. to everything that we do i mean fundamental not only what we eat but also of course inside us as well i mean they are yeah. absolutely vital and i think this is a really good time of year to be talking about this because i know so many of us coming out of the festive season are having a new focus a fresh look at what we're eating rebuilding helping to support our immune system really important at the moment with all the cough and cold and flu bugs around us and just getting back on track and supporting yourself just by adding a little dose of microbes every day into our diet has to be one of the most if not the single most effective and easiest ways to get back to good health wouldn't you say i would and um you know the thing about microbes is that we only need to tip the balance a, a little bit towards the positive for them all to go positive, or at yeah. least as many as necessary to keep you well. Yeah. So it's not like we need to, you know, completely glug a bottle every day, although you could, it wouldn't do you any harm, but certainly that, that little dose of positive microbes. Positive will... microbes. I'm going to add some right now, and then we're going to get into the science of it all. This is the one that I'm using at the moment. It's your BioLive Women. And this has 15 different families of microbes in it, plus traditional herbs and minerals famed for helping to support women's health. So for me, this is my go-to. And I'm just going to add a capful, is that right? Yes, just a capful a day. So that bottle is a month's supply. Yeah, good um, stuff. And, and should, you know, really make a difference. And especially, we we've, designed, we've designed it so that the herbs in there really support hormonal health because you know for a woman in different stages of life obviously puberty pregnancy breastfeeding menopause particularly the hormone system which regulates our metabolism yeah. regulates our mood our sexual function our growth and development all that um the hormone system is so important that it can be really skewed 
and actually it is a very finely tuned mechanism so yeah. we want to support it as much as possible now you talk about all those different life stages presumably this is completely safe to take at any age and any stage you know you talk about pregnancy and breastfeeding and all of that as well yes absolutely safe i mean there's there's no toxicity in mm. it anywhere you know and the herbs that are in there are micro doses yeah so they're not medicinal doses at all um, and the, but the microbes in the gut know if our body needs that particular thing and of course every one of our microbiomes is totally unique yeah. so that's why our philosophy is to just put as much in there as we possibly can in terms of all the oh. herbs and You've all got the great things, moringa, oat straw, peony, saffron, fennel, um, blue cohosh, holy basil, love it. I mean, it's yeah. shisandra, shepherd's purse, valerian, apple cider vinegar. I mean, it is, I can't actually rave about this too highly. I mean, you know, people are going to think, oh, you know, what's, what's she on? I mean, I'm, I'm running on, on this. And actually, I was doing a talk yesterday day in Dublin I've literally just just come back and, and rushed in right now um, it was all to do with wellness and well-being from a business point of view but also from a personal point of view because obviously you know if you have a job and run a business you've got to stay well as, as well and I talked a lot about the microbiome and supporting it and simple things that we can do why microbes what makes you so different I mean I know and I have urged everybody after this to go and have a look at the film that we've put up on YouTube because it's so fascinating and it shows exactly where this come from we went for a walk in your fields and your magical labyrinth I mean it was it was just so amazing I can't thank you enough for, for having me to visit you but why is this different from so many of the other probiotic supplements that are on the market there's several things. First of all, we harvest the microbes from soil. So they are literally um, taken out of the ground in a particular way and then multiplied and fed with molasses and so on to and warmed to so they multiply again and again and become the bedrock of all our products. So every single one of the health range and the animal range have got the same microbes in them. So that's one thing. The second thing is that it's a liquid, and so many probiotics are pills or yeah. capsules or powders. powders. Yeah. And and the problem there is that that the body needs to dehydrate. I mean, sorry, rehydrate. Rehydrate them before you can use them. Exactly. Yeah. So that so that when it's a liquid and it's fermented, I mean, there's those three things. The liquid bit means that the microbes get their optimum time, but the fermentation adds the magic because yeah. you know you probably know the fermentation now it's all the rage isn't it kimchi and so on and so forth. oh yeah kefir one of the things i said all the delegates yesterday was whatever you do drink a bit of kefir if you take one yeah. thing away from this talk it's yeah. you know add that <laughs> to your shopping yeah, list yeah, with, with the microbes <laughs> you've got that you know there as well so yeah. um, so it means that well we, we know that like cabbage for instance has got you know, 50 times more vitamin C if it's if it's sauerkraut, if it's been fermented. And the reason for that is nobody really knows exactly how that happens. Isn't that but fascinating? I didn't know that, that to increase the amount of vitamin C in your cabbage, you, you turn it into sauerkraut, chop it up, right. put it in some salty water it, and leave it for I mean, a bit. I, that, I don't know whether it's 50 times or many times. I won't hold you to that, but it has more vitamin C that's released. Definitely. And, you know, it's, it's like not quite sure exactly how it happens, but fermentation just seems to be one of those old-fashioned things that really works. It's a bit of alchemy, isn't it? Just let's talk about a couple of pr practical things. I saw a comment on Instagram um, from a viewer who's taking this neat as a spoonful. Could you do that as an alternative, or do you have to pop it in some water? Oh, no, take it neat. I mean, some people object to the taste. Yeah. And we always say, too, well, you can mix it with juice or you know put it in your smoothie or whatever doesn't matter just have no, it it doesn't matter <laughs> as long as you take it doesn't matter how you take it and all ages there's somebody asking about a nine-year-old I mean my youngsters he's 12 I, I give him microbes yeah we do do a kids one actually okay which has got which has got a um, certain you know obviously the herbs that will support growth and development but also some of the microbes that um, we get when we're born vaginally so that it kind of replaces
places, what might be lost if wow. we haven't had a breast if we haven't had a natural childbirth or we haven't been breastfed. Yeah. So so there's the kids one, but actually, you know, children many children take regular yeah. microbes from yeah. quite young. So the key thing is to get it. I cannot stress this enough. If you are concerned about your health, if you want to optimize your well-being, supporting your microbiome, supporting your gut, and these, I mean, they are liquid gold. In fact, you've even got one called gold, haven't you? Yes, I know. Well, that was our original brew. Was it? And we called it gold because I do, I believe it's the gold standard. I mean, we put yeah. a lot of, you know, very generous ingredients in there because that's our belief that um, it's not one thing that's going to heal a body, you know. It, yeah. it, the body is such a complex, beautifully complex mechanism yeah. that by giving it a generous dose of everything you can possibly think of, the microbes will sort out what you need because they have an intelligence that oh. is beyond us. This is just, I mean, it's so exciting and it's so inspirational to listen to you. People with autoimmune issues, is it safe? Is it vegan? I'm, I'm reading some of the comments and questions coming here now. Yes, yes, the answer is they're all gluten free, yeah. they're dairy free, they're sugar free. Yeah. They're obviously meat free because they're just totally um, plant based. Just, just from but, the soil, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think for ev on every test, there's a couple of them that um, are not wheat free because of the oat straw or the, or okay. the, or the barley, whatever. But we obviously put that on the bottle. But um, yeah. yeah, autoimmune diseases. I mean, 80% of our immune system resides in the gut, which is one of the reasons why it's so important to have yeah. a good microbiome in the gut. Mm. And, and of course, autoimmune diseases are where our immune system is overreacting in some way or another because mm -hmm. it feels threatened. And yeah. um, so settling the gut is, is absolutely paramount to yeah. any of them. And I know, I mean, my, my eldest daughter, Lily, who's got such acute and chronic autoimmune issues going on, one of the key things that she's working on really hard at the moment with a whole array of different medics is looking at her gut and getting her gut back into good health because you know once we have good health in the gut and that's of course talking about everything from digestive disorders so you know if you're watching this and you're thinking actually could this potentially help with IBS with acid reflux with leaky gut you know all of those things kind of that's a given because it's supporting your microbiome and that's to my mind tell me about your experience with that but I would have thought it would have been perfect Yes, exactly. It, it, that's where it all starts. In fact, there's quite a few symptoms of not having a healthy gut, which you might, you know, not have thought of. I mean, one is like brain fog, or acne, or yeah. um, you know, lack of good sleep, or there's so many different things that that actually f originate in yeah. the gut. I would say that's the beginning of everything. Like Hippocrates said, you know, all disease begins in the gut. He knew and a that, thing or two. That guy. <laughs> I mean, seriously, how many thousand years ago? And he was talking about the gut, saying it all stems from the gut. How do you know this stuff? I mean, he must have been like channeling, having a straight line up there into the universe, don't you think, to have known about all this? Well, there's so much actually that was known thousands of years ago, like the herbs that, that are used, you know, and yeah. they're all traditional medicine herbs. And, and yeah. so much of that, for whatever reason, has been loss from mainstream yep. medicine. Yeah. Yeah. You, yep. know, you can go on you can go on for a long time about all that. But yeah, loss, suppressed, all of that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we so, need to revisit it. We need to uncover, you know, these yeah. safe, time tested remedies that do so much good. Yes. You know, in a natural way, working with the body. So I can imagine that a lot of people are really excited about this and thinking, right, okay, this is going to be for me. We get to your website, Microbes, with a Z at the end, and I'll make sure we pop all the links on that. And you've got a big array of lovely things, Sue. Where would you suggest we start if we've never tried anything from Microbes? Well, as you look, as you look, it might be that a couple just pop out at you, you know, and you have a, an intuition about it, whether it's women's or we do a breathe one if you've got if you've got asthma or any sort of um you know chest stuff going yeah, on yeah upper respiratory stuff. yeah yeah respiratory stuff that helps that so so you might just have a hit and go yeah but if you wanted the regular 
maintenance, I'd go for the gold. Okay. Or if you're starting and you have you have um, gut issues, then go for Revive because Revive is the one that we got this that we here. did a couple of years ago. Actually, it's one of our newest. Yeah, that's it. And it's got L-glutamine in it, and L-glutamine is like a gut repair. Um, yes. for the for the whole of the of the gut because it doesn't obviously the gut starts you know with our mouth I mean it doesn't just yeah. start in our intestines yeah it starts in here yeah so so it could mm. be anywhere it could be like you say acid reflux it could be anything that's going on in the whole of the gut the start with the revive because it's a real it's a real gut guardian if you like it really, gut it really guardian gets don't you love that tell me about l-glutamine because i'm hearing quite a lot i follow a lot of biohackers and i'm interested i'm got my head buried in a lot of research at the moment for, for a new project that i'm working on more of which later in the year um tell me about l-glutamine from your perspective well again i mean we work with medical herbalists who you know the ones who are the experts to be honest i'm more of a you know we're, we're more of the sort of mixers but the l-glutamine is a particular um, has particular properties for repairing. You know, the gut, the whole of the gut lining is only one cell thick. Yeah, so if amazing. there's if there's a leak in there, if there's anything going on which, which they call leaky gut or IBS, because that covers such a range of symptoms, yeah. then the L glutamine has that quality of sort of plugging. You know, repairing, plugging. It's kind of like a, yeah. a glue, I guess. Um, you know, where where there's leaky things going on and mm -hmm. that's what's so uh important about the gut about repair and it's about, about revive revive is, is helping that that's very interesting so that might be quite a good one to start with for anybody particularly with gut issues yes if you've been led to yeah probiotic because you know you've got stuff going on then i would start with, with revive try that for at least a month and then carry on with with the gold with the gold there's mm -hmm. a particular you know, my husband Jeff. We started this together, and he—he's amazing. He, he would go, "Oh, let's let's do this one for the liver, and let's do this one for the yeah, you know, for the breathing." And, and he was just always wanting to sort of break another another yeah. boundary in terms of creating another one. So we have ended up with quite a quite with a with quite a few. I'm being yeah. asked here about the difference between this and there's another liquid product on the market. Um, this, I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll name it because, you know, we're, we're, we're talking factual stuff. So Simprove, which is something that I've been recommended to take in the past. But when I look at that, that I think has four or five different strains um, from memory. Yours has 15 families. At least. At um, least that we know of yeah. coming from the soil plus the added herbs. So that's that's the difference. You're getting a, a broader spectrum. Yeah. And... You know, the whole buzzword now is biodiversity. I mean, yeah. biodiversity is is top of the agenda because we're starting to realise that actually we can't break nature down to in, you know individual pieces and go, oh, mm. you need this for this one and this for this one and this is fix this and so on. Um, that all speaks to mono agriculture and yeah. mono medicine, you know, and all that. It's, it's, yeah. it's about biodiversity, and that's what our gut wants is biodiversity. Yeah, yeah, it does. So, the, um, you know, our philosophy is not, oh, you can pick, you can pick a particular microbe and it'll do this. Yeah. No, they work together. They are community beings, and they want to yeah. work together to, make, to improve our well-being. I mean, they want us to thrive. Basically. They do want us to thrive. I love that. They're, they're, they're on our team. Um, they all have an expiry date or kind of best before. Another question here on Instagram. How critical is that? I mean, can we keep them beyond that? I mean, speaking of somebody who has things in her cupboard that are way <laughs> past the best before date, particularly when it comes to fermented things, because they just kind of carry on and on and on. I keep my kefir for weeks in the fridge. You know, okay. and, and it just gets more and more kefiry, but you know, obviously we don't want to poison anybody. So what's what's your view on that? Or would you rather not say? No, it's, I, I mean, we give it, um, we test it now up to a year. So, you know, as we go on testing, it might be that we could, we could make it longer than that. I think the key is, um, if you've got it for more than a year, just open it and smell it. You know, if okay. it smells bad, it is bad. If it I smells mean, bad, it is bad. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if it has that slightly sour... Oh, yeah, no, sour. it smells of 
slightly sweety, soury, apple cider vinegary yeah. sort of smell. It's fermented, fermented. Yeah. If it still smells like that, then it's absolutely... Yeah, yeah. And interestingly, you shouldn't keep it in the fridge, should you? Because I remember doing a live with your lovely daughter, Katie, uh, about a year or so ago, and I, I mentioned that I had mine in the fridge, and she was, oh, don't keep it in the fridge because you'll kill the microbes. Well, I don't think you, I don't think you would necessarily kill the microbes. But okay. Just, they, don't, they don't thrive, you know, much over, below, well, in fact, we here, we keep all the buildings at least minimum eight degrees. So, so, you know, they want to be ambient temperature. It's like our bodies, you know, yeah. 30, 36 degrees are really quite warm. And that's kind of their... They like their body temperature, body. don't they? Because that's, that's where they're living. They're, they're living organisms. So living within yeah. the body makes sense. Don't exactly. get them too cold. I mean, I think not in the fridge. And we say out of direct sunlight as well. But that's why we put them in the brown bottles. Okay, so good plan. It protects it from mm -hmm. sunlight. Because, again, that, that can be um, detrimental to the, to the whole mix. I mean, it's, right. some of them will thrive, but maybe not all of okay. them will thrive in an environment like that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just like treating them as, as you say, as living. Yeah. Can we shake them? A couple of questions on, I mean, do we need to shake them? Do you need to tip them upside down or? Well, I, I do because, you do. Um, okay. but you know, on, when we, I don't. When, we bot when we bottle, when we bottle and all that, all the sediment falls to the bottom. I, ne I very rarely find any sediment in them, yeah. but it's kind of automatic, isn't it? You get a bottle, you shake it. Yeah. And... Yeah. I love exactly. it so much. And I should, before we go, Sue, I just want to say um, that there are extraordinary things on your website. The power of probiotics. If you're interested in doing some spring cleaning, I'm going to pass these to my friend Anthea actually because she is the queen of cleaning. You have things like probiotic multi surface cleanser and power cleaner for kitchens and bathrooms. I mean, how is this working? Well, I know. I mean, the answer is that microbes benefit any environment. Microbes absorb organic matter for their energy. And when you think about it, all dirt is organic, really. I mean, it's dust, yeah. it's pollen, it's skin, it's food, it's oil, it's you know hair, whatever. And what you're what you're doing basically is coating any surface, as well as cleaning. You're coating the surface with beneficial bacteria. And we have a study on the website that proves that within 24 hours, the surface cleaned with that with this microbial cleaner is less inhabited by pathogens than the one cleaned with bleach. In other words, cleaned with bleach, all the, they all come back within 24 hours. But with a microbial cleaner, it coats the surface with good microbes, and there's not any room or so much that room for the bad staggering. guys to get there. And of course, you know, we're, we're hearing about the rise of superbugs, MRSA resistant, you know, pathogens, really very serious issues indeed. And the overuse of hand sanitizers and sanitizing, bleaching, sterilizing products that are just yes. making the bugs come back <laughs> bigger and stronger yes. than ever before My and more goodness. resistant. But, but this yes. is working kind of holistically. What a fascinating thing to do. So we can actually take a lot of these toxic chemicals out of our cleaning products. I love, that's why I love using it. I mean, I know that whatever goes down my sink is not going to harm anything anywhere, you know. And Brilliant. Of course, we, we live in the country, we have septic tanks, we can't yeah, use same. it anyway, because otherwise they don't really work. But, um, you know, that using microbial cleaners is, is just, a, 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 it's amazing, because that's yeah. what we use everywhere here. Microbes are amazing at mutating, you know. So if we try and attack them with... As you see things. with viruses, you know, exactly. you try and attack it and it mutates to get around yeah. it, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, the same so with... Very with clever like that. You super know, so. clever things, yeah. So if, if we think that's a battle we're going to win, I, I, I think we're probably not. I think we need to start going towards working with nature yeah, rather yeah. than trying to You control. can't fight it. it. Nature will adapt, absolutely. Yeah. One last question. Um, just This is from Michelle here. Once you finish the bottle, how long does your gut stay healthy or do you need to repeat throughout the year or take continuously? Yeah, I mean, the research shows that it takes about two years to rebuild a microbiome 
to optimum. I mean, really? it depends how what it's like in the beginning, of course. I mean, that's a very big generalization. Sure. But um, sometimes I, I take a break and then start again, or, you know, it's, it's like, I think you probably you can never overdose on it. And no. that we, you know, we face so many threats to our microbiome. Yeah, I mean, we do. it's not just, of course, it's, it has to do with our diet, our exercise, our stress levels, that's all important. Yeah. Um, and our sleep patterns, but also, you know, the pollution in our world, mm. the, the, you know, you can't really, you can't help, you can't escape. And also what you're eating, you know, we know that sugar, you know, I'm passionately anti-sugar, and we know that sugar feeds inflammation and feeds the bad bacteria, so the bad bugs thrive in our microbiome, whereas what we want to do, obviously, is support the good bugs and tip that balance. So, you know, it'll depend on your diet, won't it? You know, there's so many factors as yeah. to what's going on in your own. We're all individual, we're all unique. Totally unique. But it's true that one of the biggest um, threats, if you like, to our microbiome is stress, you know, mm. so... Which so we've had a lot of, let's face yes, it. We, we do have a lot of it. And yeah. um, I, I would say sort of more and more, you know, we... we yeah, really it's not going away. Yeah, we really need help to yeah. to regularly look at that. And when we're stressed, not to go for the sugary foods and, you know, to keep up the exercise because it's, yeah, sure. it's so easy to let everything just kind of, you know, yeah. fall away when we don't feel well. Yeah. Well, Sue, so thanks to you and everybody at microbes we are going to be feeling well we are going to be feeling better have more resilience better sleep supported immune system all of that super mm -hmm. thanks for joining today sending you so much love and i can't wait to go and hop over to youtube to actually have a look at the finished film as well it was so right. fascinating to be with you and i hope that you're surviving this cold blustery weather and that your microbes yeah, are thriving it's miserable today isn't it but i'll, I'll look forward <laughs> seeing the film that sounds great and just to say if anybody's got any questions i know there are still questions coming in thick and fast if you go to the microbes website you can email you can direct message on instagram lots of ways yeah. to contact to get all the answers that you need specifically and thank you to everybody that's ever written in thank and you know said how much better they feel i mean we're not in the business of big clinical trials but just anecdotally yeah. it completely warms our heart that so many people yeah. feel better because of what we do we love that love it Thank you so much. Sending lots of love <laughs> to you. you. Thanks, Sue. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. You have to click off on the little square. So fascinating, and I am so re-energized. I love reconnecting with these fab brand founders who tell us exactly how it is, why they're passionate about what they do, what their purpose is, how it's all going to fall into place. <laughs> If we follow their research and their advice and their knowledge, and this is such an easy win for everybody. One capful a day, that's it, job done. Amazing, amazing. And I am actually going to start using properly, because hands up, I haven't been, the probiotic power cleaner in my house and the multi-surface and glass cleaner with lavender. Love it microbes i'll make sure we put the link up 10 percent off everything on their website with liz loves please go and take a look at my little film on on youtube i'd love you to let me know what you think about it right just before i go a couple of quick recaps i know lots of you are having chats with me on social media about weight loss and stepping into a new healthy eating regime i hope you saw my live with um gabriella peacock nutrition with their ceo elizabeth bayliss this is the advanced cleanse blend called Clean, which I am using and I love it. And it's something I'm giving to Kit to take back to uni. It's a mixture of greens. It's got so many good things in with it. And it's things like the broccoli powder that we talked about, spirulina, uh, wheatgrass, kale powder. Oh my goodness, uh, the list goes on. Really good for giving us a bit of a boost. Again, immune support getting that nutrition back into the body. And then just finally, so the Liz Loves on there is, uh, oh my goodness, 35%. How generous on everything on Gabriella Peacock, GP Nutrition, 35% off, but that is not gonna last. So if you want it, grab it while it's there. And as Elizabeth said, you can actually stock up for the whole year. Yeah, that's clever, isn't it? If you know that you love it, you can then 
get a whole year's worth using your discount. Sneaky. Uh, and also a very good discount on the Naked Pharmacy, one of my favourite British naturopathic brands, which is Burgertone. We do have an Instagram live saved in the history. You'll find it on Instagram, you'll find it on YouTube if you want to. Talking about Burgertone and how this helps with fatty liver and how this helps with fat loss. Really fascinating. So that is also currently 20% off with uh, Liz Loves and that's The Naked Pharmacy. Now we have a new podcast that will be going up this week and I hope that you've been tuning in to the Liz Our Wellbeing show. We've had a slightly revised format. I'd love to know what you think about it. It's free to download. You can download it anywhere in the world. There's loads of stuff going on in the archives, which is really good. This last episode, I really particularly enjoyed because it is with Dr. Francoise Willemy, who is the Director of Clinical Research and Medicine at the Booking at Willemy Clinics, which is where I went to find out more about fasting and the whole process of autophagy. So if you are interested in fasting, maybe you're even thinking about giving it a go this month, January, do take a listen. Even if you're not gonna go on a fast, you might like to listen to some of the science behind it. Very compelling, fascinating, and I loved it. And I know I recorded it with Dr. Francoise, but I've actually been back and re-listened to it because so much of what she said resonated and made such perfect sense. Um, yeah, so thank you. Thanks for all your nice comments. Yeah, Tricia, she's commenting on the dress I was wearing yesterday at the event. It's an old one from uh, Gani or Jani. I never know how you pronounce it. G-A-N-N-I, one of their leopard printy things. Uh, but I bought it in a sale about four years ago, so it may not still be around. But I know they do a lot of that sort of cheetah, leopardy type print. I'm going to be back with you on Friday. I can't be with you on Thursday this week, so my live is on Friday. Please pop it in your diary. It's going to be a good one, as always. One of my favourite guests, Zana Morris. Yes, the brilliant, strong nutrients, Zana. She who has written The High Fat Diet. Yeah, you heard that correctly, the high fat diet. She's all about strong, fit women. And I love her to bits and it will be so great to connect with her. So that's gonna be 12.30 on Friday the 13th. <gasps> Friday the 13th, are you superstitious? No, nah, it's gonna be a great day. Anyway, I hope the rest of your day goes really well. Thank you very much for connecting. And I can see I've got some new people joining us who uh, followed me after attending the Forest Conference yesterday. So a big hi, big welcome, and I hope you love being part of our Lizard Wellbeing community here. I'll see you Friday. Till then, take care. Bye.